Hey guys, Eric and Jim here to talk about this huge new trailer for Captain America Civil War. There's so much to discuss. There's so just, much. Ooh, look at that. -Man. A cold place. A cold we, place. We're thinking it's probably Russia because if you go back, yeah, yeah. that patch, we looked it up, people, that's Russian military right there on his arm. Uh, and... Here we go. Wait for the doors. Wait there's for a, it. There's a little... There's a logo there. Yeah. It's not clear... And so we don't want to say 100%, but we think that looks, might be the Hydra logo. It does look like Hydra. Also, that's a pretty crappy guard job. If you can't even face forward, you got to keep your, your <laughs> eyes turned towards the wall. Now, okay, so this is interesting. Winter Soldier and the chronology of his story in this, it, it, the chronology uh, of his whole arc in this story is curious. Here he is in some sort of cryo cha chamber. We believe in this inside this Russian prison. And you know, notice his upper arm there on the left side of the screen uh, is bare. Yeah, and, and we only bring that up because he'll be dressed very differently later, making us think that there's some multiple prisons involved. Yeah, how many times does he possibly get captured in this? Is he sort of like the damsel in distress of this movie? Yeah, he is an important part of this movie, that's for okay, sure. Okay, now right there, uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, let's go back there. Now, we're going to notice a lot of these chambers throughout these sort of basically like stasis cryo chamber things, yeah. prison cells almost. And we know that's what we just saw Bucky in, but he's not the only one that we're going to be seeing in those. Oh, did you notice that the – was that the uh, Black Panther logo right there? Actually, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Right there. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. like to do that, sneak in uh, little bits of the characters involved in these requisite – in these movies. Uh, and, yeah, so obviously here we're doing uh, – it's kind of – you know, it's, it's interesting what they're doing here, which is building upon all the chaos that happened in the Marvel movies up till now. We see the body counts there on the side we have – Manhattan, the Battle of Manhattan, yep. and then uh, DC and Winter Soldier, which, all right, come on. They they crashed it in the ocean. They were trying right, to be right. safe. And then, of course, Sokovia. Which, biggest body count of the, yeah. uh, the three sort of mega events they show here. Even though what's funny is, oh, actually, I like that Scarlet Witch is reacting to that because, yes, it's her home country, but also, spoiler, remembering the death of her brother Quicksilver. And, right. And clearly enough time has passed now that Cap has some feelings for her. She's now a full member of the team. The, the, so I'll be mentioning, uh, I did a set visit to Civil War uh, almost a year ago, and they did say, I think, it does pick up about a year later. You know, the, the new Avengers have been Avengers for about a year. William Hurt back as General Thaddeus Ross, who now is Secretary of State, we found out, yeah, in yeah. the United States. Okay, so here, let's go back. That is a UN logo on that, on that podium. Mm -hmm. And so this is an attack on the UN that... We're thinking he's going to get blamed on the Winter Soldier. Whether he did it or not. Yeah. And uh, we're not in Wakanda. We're not, we believe we're in Nigeria. Right? Well, and we should see. Yeah, so, again, so there, there is Chadwick Boseman as T'Challa. Uh, but they did say on the set visit, they did imply that we will not be in Wakanda in this movie. And so, yeah, we don't think this happens in Wakanda, but he's present for it. And so it will definitely clearly sort of, motivate it to strike back. Yeah, this, this, this will have an impact uh, going forward. Iron Man has new armor because he's got to. You know. <laughs> <laughs> got toys to sell. Yo. Yes. Got to add to my Hot Toys collection. And, uh, yeah, okay, this is – so here's where we're getting our look at the other big prison in this yeah. movie. Uh, this one comes straight out of Marvel Comics, uh, which it looks like this is the MCU version of The Raft. Look at that. Uh, first of, in introduced in New Avengers number one, which was like the big reboot of Avengers that added uh, Wolverine and Spider-Man in the comics to the team. And so, yeah, this is kind of a, a cool, uh, very big version of it we're getting in the movie here. We see some more cells here. Yeah. Um, and, and the raft is, you know, it's basically what? They're, they're their giant super, super villain prison? Super villain prison, right. So but we awesome. wonder, so they're introducing, introducing it in the context of Civil War. Makes you wonder, okay, is this, you know, where they're going to be ending up having to, or maybe Tony's concerned, they'll have to lock up their friends, you know, if these people are, are fighting them. Well, that's not a very friendly thing to do. Mm -hmm. And maybe at some point we will see some people locked up in there. Uh, let's see here. We got coming up. Okay, so here's uh, we got we, we got glimpses of this in the last trailer, but uh, the this big sort of chase with Black Panther going after Bucky. It's interesting the Cap is there at least for part of it. We just see how damn fast Panther is. Yeah. Now we're assuming that this could be him 
possibly chasing him after the attack. Right. I don't know if it's immediately after, but yeah, probably around that. I will mention, this is a pretty cool move we see here. <laughs> and one thing they really stressed on the set visit, and I actually got to see, I got to see the stunt double for Black Panther in costume, and they really pushed the sort of feline panther aspect when he fights. He, he pounces. Yeah, uh, he, just he the way used, he's running along. And we saw his, his talons, claws. basically, that grab the motorcycle wheel. Yep. And now this was in the, uh, the Super Bowl ad, right? Some yeah. of this. And uh, but definitely a big moment. I mean, because, come on, he shoots him in the face, man. Yeah, Bucky's not messing around. <laughs> he just goes for it. If it weren't for those Stark classes, Don't you get a hell of a concussion too from that thing. Not if there's <laughs> Stark tech, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, so we were talking here. We think this is creative editing. Uh, yeah, he's probably inside. He's not aiming out. Uh, we're pretty sure in this part. Or if he is, he's not aiming at War Machine. You know, because that looks a hell of a lot more like a missile getting you than a bullet. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and of course, yeah, War Machine. Uh, Rhodey, we don't think he dies in this movie. It doesn't. But... It, yeah, it would be weird to me to show his death scene just kind of yeah. in, the, in the middle of the trailer like that if you weren't going to actually say Rhodey's dead. Yeah, uh, I do think, of course, he's seriously hurt, and that will only piss Tony Now, off. we also, that yes, this looks like it happens after the airport battle, because we can see in the background there, smoke, and yeah. uh, we're going to see the airport battle in Germany play out, starting here, that's there's in cool, German yeah, writing. Yeah, there's a lot of glimpses of that, uh, which is what they, the Russo's referred to as the splash page of the movie. Now, let's talk about these guys, uh, because we're not sure quite who they are or who they work for, but yeah. we, have some, we have some theories. I mean, th we see that IFID uh, security sign, and I'll pop up again in a little bit, but could they be Crossbones mercenaries? Are they Hydra agents? Right, right, because we know Crossbones is the movie. It sounds like the opening of the movie is going to be sort of a new Avengers mission uh, taking down Crossbones, and we're guessing this is all part of that. But I think it's weird that, if they go out on a mission that they're all in street clothes, well, except for Cap. Cap's not, I think it'll be that thing where like some of them are undercover, and then it's like, send in yeah. the team. Now, I will say here, you get this moment of conflict between Natasha and Tony. Even though she is on Tony's side, a lot of fans have debated that. Why would she be on Tony's side? I mean, she's such so close with Steve. She's even closer with Clint. Uh, so how does she end up on Tony's side? And uh, they did say on the set visit that she has maybe one of the most difficult and sort of... Uh, term, you know, it's, it's it's a big decision for her in the movie whose side to be on, and we'll see her kind of. Well, go I think she's that. also too. She's a survivor, and I think she sees the writing on the wall here. Well, they also say that she's never had to make a decision like this. She's been a spy up till now, but this time she'll. Really now this have is to. interesting. It, again, creative editing. He's in someone's kitchen here, and there's yeah. charts and graphs and stuff in the background. So this Could is back in, in the. But this is back in the sort of. That's uh, back in the prison. The Russian you can prison. See the cells, yeah, but. You look there, is he at Hawkeye's home or maybe Peter Parker's? Later yeah, on? because we've heard that Aunt May, uh, Marissa Tomei, is in this yeah. movie. Uh, but yeah, this is a funny creative editing thing here because, yeah, it's like kitchen. Uh, they're in a, in a, here's Steve you in a kitchen. You want some waffles? No, then I want to hit you. Here they are in a Russian prison. But at this point, Iron Man has his helmet on in this yeah. shot. Even and then he... Winter Soldier, we were talking earlier about uh, the missing section of his sleeve. We thought, oh, is this the same prison? But no. Because he's oh, got a full sleeve. Well, I think there. we think it's the same prison, maybe, but they return to it, you know, at some point. Bucky's yeah. a prisoner there. Does he get out? And then for some reason they have to go back, because we don't know who the hell that is in that chamber there. Yeah. And it does raise the question of: Is it anyone specific? Is it an Easter egg character, or is it just the idea that Russia's locking up, you know, some yeah. some bad guys? Could it be Bruce and, Banner? Could it be Bruce Banner? Uh, again, creative editing because he had his helmet on in the last shot, but then it makes it look like he's, you know, helmeting on here to fight him. And, uh, yeah, plenty yeah. of uh, mayhem here. I will talk about, uh, you get again, a look at the, the Panther-Bucky battle. Uh, we once again wonder, is Bucky captured at this point? But, again, how many times can Bucky be captured? But this is a big reveal here. Bulletproof armor. And also, this appears to be probably after the motorcycle chase, or maybe it leads up to it. But I just want to point out, I was wrong. Those weren't charts on the wall of that kitchen. They were actually newspapers. Okay. So. <laughs> just so you guys so Aunt, know. If I it thought. is Aunt May's kitchen, she's not keeping uh, – there's no conspiracy theory like in the Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> movies. Uh, but, yeah, uh, bulletproof costume, a vibranium, I'm guessing. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a safe bet. His, his home country. I, I love the – just I love the look of this costume. Everyone on set talked about, including Chadwick Bosman, he has the most uncomfortable costume of them all. It's so hot. Physically, it just is hell to be in. they're filming in Atlanta. They're not in Germany. It, it, was, it was like, like 110 a, degrees. But, but it looks so cool. It so. does. It was worth every moment of pain. 
There they are again in Germany. Now, we see this airport getting basically destroyed, and, of course, the big showdown between all the heroes. Yeah. Uh, and then coming up here... Now, this is a big moment. You know, cl more... It's a bigger moment from the because of the comic books, because we're not there yet, at least off of Age of Ultron, uh, for any sort of romantic relationship between Scarlet Witch and Vision. But knowing that in the comics that's, you know, what their bond is and wondering that this movie might play into that a little bit, which the infant implied and it will. we think, is that Hawkeye uh, who's been knocked out down there at the bottom? Right. And again, Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch are on the same side. So maybe did Vision stop Hawkeye? And yeah. then Scarlet Witch at this point confronts him. And this is inside Avengers headquarters. So this is not the airport battle. This is a, an, another skirmish we're seeing between them. And I'm not sure what the giant Jenga or what that is in the corner, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, again, uh, okay, so this is more at the airport, but it's also a super fanboy moment uh, from the comics. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is a great reveal here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a famous, famous cover that has uh, Ant-Man on the end of one of Hawkeye's arrows. And so this is their homage uh, it's a little bit different. He's coming out of an exploding arrow. Uh, we don't actually see Paul Rudd himself, though, really. In not this in this trailer. We've yeah. seen him in other stuff. It's kind of funny, given how successful that film yeah, was. Yeah, but... yeah. But maybe it's because the character's so light, they're a little yeah. sure how to play it. But it is worth noting, he manages to get through the hand of Iron Man and land on Iron Man's armor. <laughs> <laughs> I theorize maybe to get inside the armor and stop him in the comic books. A la Falcon. Uh, yeah, and Ant-Man was once used in the comics to help Iron Man when he was stuck in his armor uh, <laughs> by going inside it. And so this could be kind of a, a reverse of that where he's and trying have, to stop uh, him. And we have Frank Grillo as back as crossbones. Yep, yeah, now fully costumed up that's with some so cool big looking. gauntlets oh, there. Oh, yeah. That. That's pretty. Again, we're guessing this is all connected to the stuff we saw with those soldiers. Uh, this is probably near the beginning of the movie. Which country do we think they're in here? Is this yeah. supposed to be... I don't know. But it does sound like something goes terribly wrong that is going to lead to this big meeting about uh, what, what uh, should be This the might results. be Nigeria, actually. I think we saw something... They said that the movie will begin with their version of what they called the Stamford incident in the Civil War comics. Oh, uh, interesting. But something, you know, something else will go wrong. It won't be Connecticut. <laughs> and cool callback here. Yeah, uh, to uh, First Avenger. So, yeah, he's to the, fighting the bully. first Captain America, which is funny because he's saying a line he said to uh, to yeah bullies in uh, Captain America. So you know they talked a lot about how they don't want Tony to be seen as the straight up villain in the comic books. He pretty much was, uh, but you know Cap's pretty much treating him like uh, the bully who needs to be stepped up to here by uh, by saying that line. Let's see, and then more this is the you know the one-on-one -on -one skirmish you just gotta hurt your hand cap to hit him in the <laughs> armor face <there. laughs> ow, 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 ow. i hope he didn't just break his hand <laughs> Let's see here uh okay uh, this is right. great just the just the fact that we have kind of a the glory team shot here yeah. everyone kind of kicking in and you know we, we see her fly we see scarlet witch fly she starts to take flight uh so this was the moment i was on set for along with a little bit of other fighting stuff you lucky the seeing SOB. the six of them riding running forward it was amazingly cool on a sort of geek out level uh of course <laughs> it was in atlanta and there was a bunch of green screen and just a few props for the airport so it is funny to be like oh look at that giant airport they're in plus but, humidity yeah plus humidity but seeing them all costumed up was definitely as someone who's read com marvel comics his whole life uh, that was a huge moment. But she didn't take flight in front of us. And then, yeah, uh, look at uh, Team Iron Man coming forward. And, and again, this is what I was calling the, the splash page. That's the Russo's term, right. you know, they, they, <laughs> the, the double page spread. This is also the sequence that was shot with IMAX cameras. Uh, so this is – and it sounds like this is the centerpiece of the movie. This is not the concluding battle, I don't think. So I think more this of a is midpoint. Kind more of, of a midpoint because they also they – have, They have three flyers that are there too, though. That's not fair. Yeah. They also implied that um, everyone won't stay in the fight till the end. Some people might get disillusioned and drop out before the end. But right now, this is when – all 11? Did I say 11 of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, fight? we do see War Machine get taken out yeah. after yeah. the sequence. But no, there is a 12th. With, uh, Under the, Rue's reference. With the big we, moment. We're not going to no, go... Let's, yeah, let's, let's talk. We, we have a whole other rewind just about Spider-Man's costume, but we want to talk a little bit more about it here because we didn't talk. We had still images for the other one. There is a good look at uh, web shooters. the web shooters. Yeah. And then also, can we make out at one point here, I think we make out the logo on his back too. Coming up. Yeah, yeah. You can see the red logo a little bit. Um, where did I go? Do, 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 do. Let's, let's go see. forward actually, I think. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Spidey, flip, flip your thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. There he is. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so you got the classic red logo there. Uh, you actually so see a little bit more. There's actually also an extra red stripe. I could do without, again, the sort of busyness of the costume. <laughs> yeah. You see in between the shoulders, there's that sort of extra little section there where they put more blue, it looks like, and then another red stripe. Yeah, our other costume rewind, we really do kind of go to town and all the little uh, bits. But um, I do think it's great in the sequence here that we, we hear just how young he is. Yeah. He really does sound like a kid. And he's supposed to be, what, like 15 or something? Yeah, yeah. So he's a kid in like this, this world, and I have a feeling we'll see him kind of get it a bit over his head very quickly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what a way to end what was already a huge trailer. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, thanks for watching. For all things Marvel, Captain America Civil War, Spider-Man, keep it here on IGN.